Welcome back to Miss Ewing TV. Today we're going to be making a puppet. You can make any kind of puppet that you want. I'm going to just show you two different examples of puppets. The first one is made from a paper bag. So for this one, the materials that you'll need are a paper bag. I used white paper to color on because it's hard to color over top of the brown paper bag. And then crayons, scissors and glue, and I use the Sharpie marker for the eye. Um, but you could use just crayons if you wanted. To do this one, the first thing I did was I cut out the pieces to cut the, cover the front of the paper bag. So I laid my paper bag, let's see, how did I do it, like this. And then I flipped it over and then I traced along the edge of the paper bag. I cut that out and that piece went right here. And then I took this part of the paper bag and I laid that down, traced it and cut that out and that part was glued right here. And then I actually didn't glue it until after I cut it. So once I had my pieces cut, then I drew out the design. I wanted mine to look like it had spikes. So I drew kind of spikes on there. Um, I cut out the pieces, this top piece for the mouth, but this was all one piece. So I drew teeth here and then I added those teeth here. And then I added some little antennas. So that's one idea for a, a puppet. You can make yours out of anything that you have at your house. Um, so maybe go around and look for materials and see what you have around your house first. For this sock puppet, I needed a sock. You don't have to have a long sock. This song, sock is really long, but you really just need something that's gonna cover up your hand. So a small sock is fine too. Make sure you ask your parent first. Um, the other materials that I used for mine are googly eyes, but if you don't have googly eyes, you could use buttons for eyes. You could use palm palms. You could use cotton balls. You could even make them out of paper. Just kind of look around your house and see what kind of materials that you have. Here's some even bigger googly eyes. Um, and then look for other things that you could kind of accessorize with. So I have some feathers, pipe cleaners. Maybe you could add ears or whiskers. Um, I found some little pieces of fabric if I wanted to maybe put a bow tie on him. Or is it a her? I don't know. And then I have some yarn. So look around your house to see what kind of materials that you have, and then you can decide what you're gonna do with it. So I'll just show you how I made this simple one right here. Um, I also used a piece of cardboard. If you don't have cardboard, like a cereal box, if you have a leftover cereal box, or any kind of little piece of cardboard at your house would work. So first thing is, you get your sock, and you're gonna turn it inside out. So I'm just gonna stick my arm in there and flip it. Now my sock is inside out. And I have my piece of cardboard. I'm using my cardboard to make, to put inside the mouth to kind of make it stiff. It kind of holds shape a little bit better. So I'm gonna draw an oval shape on here. Let's use this pen. So just an oval, it doesn't have to be perfect. Then you're gonna cut it out. Sometimes, Cardboard can be difficult to cut through, so you might need to ask an adult for help. Now this next step, I'm gonna be using a hot glue gun. If you have a hot glue gun at home, make sure you get your parents' permission, um, or permission from your parents. Uh, and if you have a low temperature glue gun, that's a lot better. This one is a high temperature glue gun, which makes me kind of nervous, because. It gets very hot. The low temperature glue guns, I think, are a lot safer. If you touch the hot glue out of a low temperature glue gun, it usually doesn't hurt too bad. This one will blister you. All right, so I'm just gonna be very careful. So if you're using a hot glue gun, make sure you get permission or have an adult help you. And then I'm just gonna lay this on top of here. Now, Elmer's glue would probably work for this. It would just take a lot longer to dry. Now I'm gonna fold this over top of that part. So I'll need a little bit of glue right here. Fold it. I'll just hold that for about 10 seconds. I think that that's dry. 
I'm going to flip the sock right side out. So I'll just take that. And that's how I get my mouth shape. Now I might decide, does it look better if that's the top of the mouth or maybe this way, or maybe they look identical. Doesn't, doesn't really, you'll just have to decide and see. All right, so I added teeth to mine to do that. I found a little piece of like foam, but white paper would work. A little piece of cardboard would work. So you don't have to add teeth. You can make yours any way you want. You could give it some lips or a tongue. And I just cut out that tooth shape and then I glued it in there. Maybe this one will only have one tooth. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of hot glue. Now, I don't know if Elmer's glue would hold something like this. It probably would not. So there's one tooth. And then I put my um, my nose on next, and I wanted my nose right up front, but it's up to you. It's your artwork. What color would look best? Hmm. I think I like the green. Oops. Now, when I put these eyes on, I wanted them to stick straight up and down, but you could also lay them flat. To make them straight up and down, I put pom-poms behind them. So I glued a pom-pom on either side of my nose. One here. This one looks a little too big, but that's all I got, so that'll work. And then I took my googly eyes. Hmm, do I want these gigantic googly eyes? Or I could do one of each, one big eye, one little eye. That might be funny, I think I will. All right, so then I put the eye on the front of the pom-pom. So the last thing I did on this one is I gave it some hair. So to do that, I used yarn. And what I did, I'll put some pink on this one. So what I did was I held my yarn in my hand and I wrap it around. And I can see, I got a knot. I can see about how much hair it's going to have by looking at how much yarn is wrapped around my hand. That might be good. All right, so then I slip it off of my hand, and I'll cut it, and then leaving that wound up like that, I'm going to cut a little piece of yarn, and I'm going to tie this around this part right here. And you're just going to do the first step of tying your shoe, making that little loop, and then you're going to do that again so that it doesn't come undone. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your scissors, you're gonna find those loops you made and you're just gonna cut through those loops. There's half of it. And there's the other half and I can see those pieces that I tied are a little bit longer so I'll trim those a little bit shorter. And there's my hair. So now I can put a little dot of glue there. Elmer's glue might work for this also, or fabric glue. That's something that won't be hot. All right, and that's how I made my sock puppet. So you can make your puppet out of any materials you have around your house. Um, and then the best part of it all is afterwards, you can have a little puppet show. Have fun!